Hello everybody, it's Robin. Um, this is the awaited AMP 1 and 2 video. Um, I'm looking a little rough today so you're not going to see my face. <laughs> I'm going to try and make this quick though. So let me show you first what I did in the spring for AMP 1 that was not effective. It was hard to study with and it was just a pain in the rumpus. And then I will show you what I did with AMP 2. Um, Okay, so first off, I started AMP1 with, I just had my book, which I lent to a friend. The first thing I do to all of my textbooks is I get the book, I get these tabbies, and I have um, other colors with red, blue, and yellow, and then I tab all the chapters off the side. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and, and so on, all the way down my book. That is so, if I need to refer back to another chapter or whatever, it's just quick reference. I don't have to fumble through the book. It's just much faster that way. All right, so I had a binder and I got myself a four or three subject notebook for my all my classes, okay? That was a mistake because I eventually ran out of paper, but um, let, me, let me just go ahead and finish. So when I go to a and I'm just writing rough notes, okay? They're messy. Um, I always have my recorder going too, but they're messy because he moves so fast. Um, sometimes I break it down in color, sometimes not. I never got a chance to really rewrite my notes. I, I wanted to and I just fell too far behind if I would have done it from the beginning and stuck with it like I did for a and 2 um, It would have been much better. But look at this hot mess. I mean, I, I did study by these somehow. Um, at the end of every chapter or every class, to not chapter but class, he would have a summary review, and there would just be um, highlighted things, he, statements from his lecture that he really wanted you to concentrate on. And then I just kept going. Well, like I said, eventually I ran out of paper, so what did I do? I got another notebook. Yes, this time it made it even worse because. I said, oh, this one has some pockets. Um, I did start getting um, a little smart. I started tabbing where my notes were, chapter 14, because in here, I couldn't have told you where chapters 1, 2, and 3 started and ended or whatever. Um, again, still just the rough notes, the reviews. Um, he also handed out, you know, we had homeworks. We had... Um, diagrams. We had little mini review books before each and every test. We had um, verbal reviews he would hand out after every chapter was done. We had vocabs. So I had everything just thrown together. Nothing was separated by chapters and stuff. So when I had to go study for the final, it took me hours to pull everything out and I got all of my verbal reviews in one place. I got all of my labs in one place. Got all of my vocabs in one place. Got all my tests in one place. Diagrams. All my little booklets. Okay, so this is how the study group and I would study. You know, we would go through our raw notes and then we're like, well, let's take out all of our, um, you know, our summary reviews or our, our verbal reviews and let's study those. It was just too much. Not only that, I was carrying around all of that for one class. And that's ineffective study time. I did end up with a 94 out of the class, but I'm like, you know what, I can't do this for AMP2, so I need to think of something different. So, let me drop this on the floor. AMP2. All right. What I'm doing is I'm going to pull out just one chapter just to give you an example. You already saw my rough notes. So, give me just a second, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just setting out what I wanted to show y'all. Okay, homework, book out, little books. Okay, so. What I did was I got a very thick three, three and a half inch binder, okay? That's that binder here. Here's my hand. It's a pretty big binder. That stayed home. This binder was the only thing I took to class. 
it has my filler paper. I ended up going to this instead of the spiral notebooks. I loved it much better. I got these little pocket things. They're double-sided pockets at Walmart. They're inexpensive. They have tabs. I love them. So I would have like my summary reviews, my verbal reviews, my lab work, my homework, you know, and such. And then I had a pocket folder in case I wanted to put diagrams or just miscellaneous materials there. So I stayed organized through each and every chapter. Once I was done with the chapter, I took it out, my lecture notes stayed on the top, and then I got all of my, you know, whatever's out. I kept them in order, I put them in here, and then I also tabbed the top with what chapter it is, and the, like chapter 20, cardio, chapter 21, blood vessels, chapter 20, you know. So I tabbed them, and boom, they're in that. This stayed at home, and then I was ready. I refilled paper, and I was ready for the next chapter. So what I would do is, every night, I would get home, and I would rewrite my notes. Okay, I took the messy notes and I stuck with it and I just rewrote them. Okay, I would draw, you know, my same pictures, just made a little more sense to me. Also, having to rewrite them, um, the only thing I would do different is under each little subheading, I would still leave, you know, a couple inches of blank lines for what I'm going to explain to you of what I did next. But I would just rewrite my notes. And then I would do little things like um, when we got to um, cells, granular, um, I wrote little things like those cells ended in fill. And then they ate granular. They didn't have the little dots. Um, so And those were my sites. So that's by looking at the word, those are just some ways that I would know that the fills were, had the little granules inside of them, and the granules were a certain color, so I colored that in my notes. Um, I'm just flipping through. I would draw little um, things that would help me remember. If he said something was going to be on the test, I would mark it big test. Um, so on and so forth. And these notes were a lot nicer to study by. Like I said, I would leave a little more space to add more things later because I'm going to show you what I did next. Now, I told you at the end of every chapter, he would give us, or every day, I'm sorry, every day, he would give us a summary review. Little statements that he wanted us to remember from his daily lecture. Well, what I would do when I also would go home and rewrite my notes I would take each one of these and place it in the notes where it would belong, and then I would color code it. So up here, um, stars, things from prior tests, or in, um, pink was the little study booklet, summary reviews, verbal reviews. I also did um, a different color for if it was in the homework, etc. So then I was able to get rid of those. I still kept it, but I wouldn't eat it because it's now all in here. I did the same thing with all the verbal reviews. We would get these at the end of each chapter. So what I would do is I would go through each one and I would insert it where it belonged in my notes for that chapter. I did the same thing with the homework questions. So yes, it took a little bit of time, but guess what? It was stuck in my head because I saw it over and over and over. I knew eventually exactly where I needed to put it in my notes. Um, and then I kept my um, vocabulary and then our little review booklet so when it came time I didn't have to pull out all of this miscellaneous stuff anymore because it's now all in this set of notes this is all I needed to study for for my whole chapter um, we would do anywhere from two to four, four or five chapters at a time for a test so all I had to pull out was this and the beauty of this was, when I found it in the notes, I would color code it so I knew, okay, he gave this um, statement to us in two different places or from two different things. Um, 
you know, I could say, okay, this one was from a summary. This one was from the little booklet. This one was from a verbal review, not only from the notes. So I could see how m many times he really concentrated on something. Um, it was already in these notes, so I would concentrate a little bit more um, maybe on that statement. Another beautiful thing about it was whether I got something from a summary, a verbal review, or homework, it might be roughly the same. It was the same idea, but just given a different way. So it didn't matter. I still put it, even if it was the, like I said, the same idea, just stated differently. I still put it in my notes. It just gave me another way of seeing the information that could be given to me on the test. Because we all know you don't get the same identical information the way it's given to you in your notes. You can see it a question rearranged so many different ways. So when I was finished, I would just take that, I would put it on top of all my verbal reviews, on top of all my homeworks, on top of all of my labs and my vocabulary. I would put the little study booklet in the front and then it goes over. Once I'm done with the test, it goes over to my three ring binder right away. I close it up, boom, that stays there. This stays home. Like I said, now I have an empty folder ready for the next thing we're going to learn. And I would, like I said, I would keep plenty of filler paper in here. And then this and my book was all I took to class. And that's all I needed to take to my study group. Or if they came over here, that's all I'd have to pull out. I didn't have to lug that around. And I didn't have that hot mess anymore. Unorganized hot mess. Now, I ended up with a 97.7 out of AMP2. So... I really do believe I had more effective studying. Um, I stayed organized. So when I went to study for my final, believe it or not, everything was just in here. And like I said, I could go to whatever chapter I wanted to go over. I could find it very easy, even though it looks like a lot of information. Like I said, it was all tabbed up here. So if I wanted to go a little more in depth over fluid and electrolytes, boom, it's right there. Everything stayed together in the same order and I could find what I need and it was so effective. Such a better way for me to learn and retain. Like I said, writing notes over is another step. But when your brain writes and sees things over and over and over again, it's just going to stay with you that much longer. Okay, I hope this helped. It's I know it was a very quick video, but I wanted to get it out, getting ready to take my daughter back to college tomorrow. So I wanted to get this up and out so maybe you guys can start getting yourselves organized. So definitely get a, this is a two inch binder to take to class. Filler paper. These pocket tabs from Walmart, they're dual-sided dual, dual -sided pocket tabs. Um, I want to say they were just a couple of dollars, not very expensive. This was optional. I didn't really use the two-pocket folder a whole lot. but um, And then a nice thick binder to keep everything in once you're done. You automatically right away put it in here, and I kept the chapters in order. And then you will need tabs of some kind. Or if you um, can't afford these or don't want to buy a lot of these, absolutely just regular post-its will work. Um, the, sticky, the sticky side you just place on your paper and right up top, just let a little bit stick up. Those work just fine. So comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if this system helps you. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day.